in charge here? I am. Let those kids out. These kids are car thieves. Then you have made a big mistake. Now, I don't know how you got that bogus confession out of them, but those two boys haven't stolen a thing from anyone. This has got to be the biggest amateur operation I have seen since Mayberry RFD. <laughs> Did you ask your wife to calm down? Calm yourself, Barney Fife. <laughs> Vivian, please. Now, officers, I'm sure we can clear this whole matter up quite easily. Could you please sit down? We're busy now. Oh, honey, we're about to get very busy. <laughs> Sit down. Hey, you don't talk to my wife like that. Now, wait a minute, buddy. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? What's going on here? Can I help you, sir? I'm Henry Firth. Good news, Mr. Firth. Your car is safe and sound, and we've got the perpetrators. Those aren't the perpetrators. Those are my partner's son and nephew. Partner? Legal partner. And I've got a few questions for you. When you got this alleged confession from these two young men, did they have a lawyer present? No, because I'm their lawyer. Did you notify their parents? No, because we're their parents. So, officer, don't tell us to wait. And don't tell us to sit down. Just open that damn cell and let those two boys out of there. I'm going to tie this place up with so much litigation that your grandchildren are going to need lawyers. Open the cell, Jerry. <laughs> Peace out, Bob. <laughs> One is the loneliest number that you ever knew. Oh, my God, look, where's our camping equipment? <laughs> Will, you were supposed to secure everything to the luggage rack. I did. Oh, wait, this ain't the Volvo. <laughs> Carphone. We'll call for road service. Yeah, great idea, Carl. And you can tell him exactly where we are, too. Somewhere in the dark between a rock and a tree. I'm sorry. You are outside the calling area. Please try your call again. Well, I guess sending for pizza is out. <laughs> All right, now that's it. That's enough. We'll just get back in the car and go for gas in the morning. Now get in the car. But you just. Get in the car! <laughs> You know, Uncle Phil, now, I haven't been on too many camping trips, but snow is a bad thing, right? Let's look on the bright side, okay? This will give us a perfect opportunity to pull together and show what we're made of. Does Bigfoot have to come down here with a chainsaw before you admit we in trouble? Okay, okay, we can't stay here, we'll freeze to death. Just get all the stuff out of the back seat and we'll, we'll go ahead on foot. Get out of the car. But you just... Get out of the damn car! <laughs> I'm too humiliated to stay. But, Jeffrey, oh, gee, gee. Jeffrey, you can't go. It was a joke, man. Well, what are we going to do? Look, I don't know about you, man, but I'm going to take this TV right here, man. I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, grab that radio, drop it off in my room for me. You did what? Are you out of your horny little adolescent minds? I know I am, Dad. What you did was not only humiliating, it caused Jeffrey to quit his job. Look, Uncle Phil, it was just a joke. A joke I had nothing to do with, Dad. I mean, you know me, I don't even have a sense of humor. You two have pulled some pranks in your day, but this one, this one takes the cake. <laughs> He's about to blow, man. Make a break for the front door, I'll cover you. So, so. so. <laughs> Tell me, uh, if you were me, what would you do? Um, I don't know, uh, forget the whole thing, get us a couple jet skis. <laughs> Look, you big-eared freeloader! You take the little 
little square-headed cousin here, and you find Jeffrey, and you bring him back, or they'll never find your bodies. And I'm a judge. I can make it happen. You know, I've, really, I, I don't mind the yelling, but, but it, does he have to spit? <laughs> I'm gonna be late for lunch. <laughs> Great, you have a phone. That's right. And you don't. Will, we gotta get that phone. Look, Uncle Phil, just ask him nice. Oh, no, after what I did to him, he's never gonna let me use it. Oh. Well, you know I'm coming straight out the hood, right? <laughs> All right, where I come from, when we want something, we step up on it and take it. Observe. Please, can I use your phone? Hey, look, man, if you don't let me use your phone, I'm gonna start singing Paul Abdul's greatest hits. I guess you want to use this phone real bad, huh? Yes, sir, I do. About as bad as I wanted that cigarette? Stop! Ghetto time! No, 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 shh, calm down now. Now, I trained as a lawyer for many years. I was trained in the art of negotiation. Hey, okay? Observe. Sir? Give me that damn phone, I'm gonna rip your liver out and eat it raw. That's right, boy, and he about due for a snack. Yes, sir. Change of petroleum up three and an eighth. What'd I tell you, big guy? You called it, son. Vector Comp Industries down third day in a row. <laughs> the merger killed them. Yeah. Good thing we got out when we did, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, son. <laughs> did you say something, Dad? I don't want you to move out. Sorry, Dad, I have to go. No, you don't. Will says I do. He says it's time for me to leave the nest, become independent, and have sex with girls. <laughs> Same sex, mind you, but lots of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this what you ain't telling my boy? What? That life is one big orgy? I know. Well, college is hard work, son, I followed know. by a family, which is even more hard work. What? And a teenage daughter who doesn't want to be seen with you in public, and a wife, a wife who wants you anywhere near her, and a butler, a butler who may be the father of your child, and a guardian, yeah. a guardian. Yeah. Well, I can't bear to see him like this. That's why we move is so we don't have to. <laughs> but look at him. He needs me. No, I don't. I don't need either one of you. There is a silver lining in my dark cloud. Hillary. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hillary Banks? 